Hey y'all, we're gonna do something today that's a little bit different, but and, and you might think at first, well, you know what, I'll get to that in a second. But we all know the US customary system of measurements, right? The length is inch, the foot, the yard, the mile, the centipede, the hector, the, okay, no, yeah. Just, we all know those. There's one inch, 12 inches in a foot, three feet in a yard, 5,280 feet in a mile, and so on. Just make sure you know those, and you have those memorized, okay? The uh, systems of weight, ounces, pounds, and those are kind of like Latin abbreviations there, but there are 16 ounces in a pound and 2,000 pounds in a ton. Just make sure you know that as well. Okay, we're gonna do something. You don't have to write this down if you don't want to, but I just want you to see what's happening. Look at this. Uh, what is the answer to this? Five times, and then we have a fraction, three over three. What's the answer to the whole thing? If you forgot, let's say you went, oh, I don't know, I'm a five times three is 15, one times three is three, 15 divided by three is five. But, oh, wait, we started with a five. Five times three over three is five. Okay, let's try this one. 11 over 11 times 73. 73, right? If you're multiplying some, whatever number this is, and you're multiplying it by a fraction that's equal to one, I mean, any number times itself is just the same number, right? Okay, that's all we're doing with these unit multipliers. We're gonna take a distance or, a, or a, 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 an amount of area or volume and multiply it by one, sometimes over and over and over and over again. But you'll wanna make sure you get this technique down perfectly. And you wanna to get to a point where you don't even think about it, you just do it automatically, okay? Just like, I wanna wash the dishes for mom because I love her so much and my dad. Okay, so you just do it automatically. Little baby sister's diaper needs changed. Oh, I'll do, you know. Okay. So get, get to the point where you're just doing this automatically, okay? Now, look at this fraction. What is that fraction equal to? What is one foot divided by 12 inches? It's one, right? It's the same thing, right? It's something divided by itself is one, all right? How about three feet divided by one yard? If you're not sure, I'll give you a hint. So you just, just connect the dots here, and you'll get the, oh, okay, you guessed that, okay. All right, 5,280 feet divided by one mile, one, obviously, okay, all right. Here's the way you convert units using unit multipliers, okay? Copy this down, make sure you have it, make sure your pages and your notes are still like this. There's your notebook paper and this says 23 at the top there, okay? You wanna make sure that you do this over and over. Now, um, you know, I'll tell you something in a second. Okay, number one, write down what you're given to start with. Write down what you're given to start with. You can pause it anytime you need to write this down. Number two, write a new fraction to the right of it with that unit on the bottom. And you'll see exactly what I mean in a second. Number three, cancel the units and multiply and divide. Number four, oh, you know what, don't, no, don't read that one. That's okay, that's kind of, that was a mistake there. Don't, don't look, don't look back, okay. All right, here's a typical one. Convert five feet to inches. Now, uh, it, here's what's tempting and what you do not want to do. You do not want to go, oh, I already know that. There's 12 inches in a foot, so five times uh, 12 is 60. I, got, I, don't need, I don't need to learn this. No, you do, okay? You need to learn this method because when you get into Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 and all these, you're going to have not just one fraction times another fraction. You're going to have sometimes 15 and 18 fractions, okay? You might be able to go, oh, five feet uh, to inches. Oh, yeah, 60 inches. I got that. But you're not going to be able to say, and somebody says to you, convert one square mile into square centimeters or convert two cubic miles into cubic meters. It ain't going to happen. You ain't going to be able to do it. So you need a method. This is the method. Once in a few weeks, maybe six or eight weeks, this will be so automatic, it'll be no problem at all. And then in Algebra 1, they do the same thing. And in Algebra 2, the same thing. So it'll take you a lot less time. Anyway, learn this method, okay? So, let's do that, all right? Oops, skip there. Unit multiplier, convert five feet to inches. No, real, the first thing you do, write down what you're given. You're given five feet, so write down five feet. You can just do the abbreviation. Step two, write a new fraction with that unit on the bottom. What you're gonna actually do is you're gonna multiply. So put a little multiplying, write a new fraction with this on the bottom. We square? 
Okay, now what we've got to do now is they're wanting to buy feet to inches. So your job now is to figure out, okay, how can I fit inches into this? Well, I know that one foot is equal to 12 inches, right? Okay, all right. Now here's, let's go back a couple of slides. Oop, don't look at that number four. That's a secret. Okay, when you did this, you could just go, you know, you could just cancel stuff out. In other words, when you see a fraction like this, 3 over 17 times 17 over 4, immediately you know what to do, right? You just go, that's gone, and the answer is 3 fourths. That's exactly what you want to do here. Oh, don't look at that number 4. That's a secret. Okay. So this is what you're going to do. You're gonna, you can, if you want to, you can make it like this if you want. But you're going to cancel out the feet, boom, just like you would cancel out numbers in a fraction. So all we need to do is we go, okay, 5 times 12 is 60, and we even have the, the unit we want. We have inches. They're asking for inches. We got inches. That's it. Divided by 1 times 1 is 1. There you go, 60 inches. Now, again, don't get tempted to go, oh, yeah, I don't need to know this. I already know. It's going to get more, much more dip, or interesting. Interesting. Okay. All right. Let's convert 420 feet to yards. All right. Here's what you might want to do. You can just go something like this. Okay, I'm going to go 420 feet to yards. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but if it makes helps you feel better about looking at it, it's fine. Okay, step one is to write what you are given. 420 feet. Step two, and again, if you want, you can put this over a one if you like to multiply fractions that way. The step two is you don't even think, don't even think, just put this on the bottom of the new fraction, right? Okay, now we need to kind of figure out what goes here. Well, let's see. Feet and yards. Okay, well, let's see. I know there are three feet and one yard. And now if you look, there's a feet on the bottom, on the top and the feet on the bottom, they cancel. So now you have, going across, 420 feet, excuse me, yards, because we have yards left, right? We didn't cross that out. Uh, this is one times three, which is three. And that's how many yards you have. Now, don't just leave this. Go ahead and do the arithmetic. So that's, if you do the long division, it'll be 140 yards. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's try another one. Convert 72 inches to feet. And again, you might think, oh, I already know that. I don't need to do this. Go ahead and pause it. Use the method. And then unpause it when you're finished. All right, step one, what are you given? Don't even think, just write 72 inches. You can write inches, okay? If you like to write it over one, write it over one, okay? You immediately know you have got to write this at the bottom of this fraction because you're gonna be canceling, okay? Now we're doing inches and feet. You can say, oh, 12 inches is the same thing as one foot. Do you see what's happening here? You are multiplying 72 inches by one because a foot divided by 12 inches is one. We're not making up stuff. We're just changing the way it looks. You're multiplying it by one, which is just going to be the same thing. We're just changing the unit, okay? Now we cancel off the units. There we go. And now we go 72 times one foot is 72 feet. And then we can go one times 12 is 12. Of course, we all know 72 divided by 12 is six. So the answer is six feet. Six feet, six feet apart. Danger. Death comes to you if you stand five feet, 11 inches away from anybody else, okay? Oh, I should have told you guys, you should, you should have been wearing four or five masks every time you do these as well. Yeah, okay. All right, let's try this one. Go ahead. Okay, step one, don't even think. Write what you're given. 4.6 miles, just put MI if you want. All right, we'll multiply without even thinking what goes down here immediately. Miles, okay. Now, this is where it's interesting. Miles and feet. Well, we know that one foot is 5,200, excuse me, one mile is 5,280 feet. Okay? Don't even think, just cancel. This is the top, that's the bottom. You know, I'm not going to even bother to do, you know, and I suspect sometimes in your book they'll just have this as an answer because parentheses means to multiply. That's how many feet there are in a mile. It's not important to do the arithmetic unless you really want to find out. So, okay, all right. Go ahead and try this and pause it and do the, do the method. Do the method for this, go ahead. All right, step one, what are you given? Four tons, right? Four tons. If you want to write it over one, fine, do it. 
Immediately, you go tons at the bottom, okay? Four tons to pounds. Well, let's see, one tons, I'll just put one ton, is 2,000 pounds, okay? Well, tons go away. So four times 2,000 is 8,000. And again, I'm sure you guys all could do that part in your head. Believe me, believe me, train your brain to do this method, I'm telling you. When it gets to be sometime in the future when you're doing chemistry or something or biology and you're converting this to that and the other kids are on you crying and like, you know, uh, you know, shaving their eyebrows off and stuff like that and you're just doing this, that's going to be a good feeling. Okay, so, all right, let's look at uh, the practice problems on page 80. Go ahead and try the first one and then come back when you're done. Okay, well, let's look. 412 feet to yards. Well, don't even think, just write. 412, did I even write that right? That doesn't, it's not gonna, oh, 412 feet. I guess it is. That's, okay, so just write without thinking. 412 feet. And then immediately you write feet on the bottom of the other part. And then we know three feet is the same as one yard. Then the feet cancel out. Then you just divide. 412 divided by 3, if you want to go ahead right here. 3 into 4 is 1. There's 1 left over. 3 into 11 is 3. There's 2 left over. 3 into 22 is 7. And then we just put, you know, 1 third or 0.3 or whatever, and that's going to be yards. And then you just, again, notice you've crossed out the units for feet, right? The yard is the only thing that's left. That's what you have left. Now, in the future, We'll be, we'll be getting ourselves to yards, and then we'll be changing that to something else. So you'll need to put another fraction like this with yards at the bottom in a future date. We're gonna get used to these first. Learn this method. Okay, do B. All right, do not think, just write, oops, 17,200 feet, all right? And immediately you write feet on the bottom. And you go, okay, one foot is 12 inches. And there you go, and feet cancel out. 17,200 feet, ugh. See, I wouldn't even mess with the zeros. I'd just go 172 times 12, that'll be 344, and one, seven, two, then four, six, and that'll be two, okay, 2,064. The only thing left is inches, there you go. Okay, pause it and try C. All right, 412 feet to inches. Okay, so that's like this first one, but a little different. All right, we're still gonna write 412 feet. We know immediately we just need to put feet down here. Now we're looking for inches, right? So we go, okay, well, one foot is the same thing as 12 inches. Now we can cancel the feet. Then we just have 412 times 12, which gives us 4,944, and that is inches, and there you go. Okay, all right, we have two more. All right, so let's do D, pause it. Okay, 48 ounces, no thinking, just write what you're given, 48 ounces. To pounds, immediately write OZ on the bottom. And then let's see, 16 ounces is the same thing as one pound. We're, again, make sure you understand, we're multiplying by one. That doesn't change the value of anything. Multiplying things by one doesn't change the value. We're just changing the way it looks, all right? Ounces go away, 48 is on top, divided by 16 is three, that's gonna be three pounds. Pause it and try to eat. All right, step one, write what you're given, 40,000 pounds. Step two, write a new fraction with that on the bottom so you can cancel. And tons, okay, so tons, uh, 2,000 pounds in one ton, all right? Gone. 40,000 on top, 2,000 on bottom. If you get confused, you can just go 40, 40 divided by two is 20, or you can go, okay, I'm chopping off three zeros, and I'm chopping off three zeros to match, 40 divided by two is 20, 20 tons, there you go, okay. All right, go to it. Have a good time with your uh, problem set today, and I'll see you guys next time.